Now, let's see what Noah J456 has to say about the giant. And boys and girls. <laughs> Today is a day oh, we no, we gotta be. Hold on, wait, no, no, stop talking. I need to be in full quality. Since, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is a day that I have been dreading ever since I have been reacting to the zombies retrospective that Pat's been putting out. The giant retrospective. Now, Do I see? I don't. What? What's wrong, what, dude? What's wrong with this? He doesn't want to react to the 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 best map in Bo3. If they are what I think they are gonna be. I am going to have a very, very hard time not yelling. This, this man's got the anime hat and he's about to pop action, off so on Pat, dude. Without further ado. For talking ado, about the giant. Let's, 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 just, let's see, let's let's see, see, we'll see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. No, we're going to hold it in. We're not going to say, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to wait. We're going to be civilized. Dude, he pissed. He doesn't chat. He, he doesn't he understand he art. Casual. He's hitting the meditation right now, dude. He just doesn't understand art. And that's, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's okay. But given its significance okay. in the storyline, objectively along with true. The only casual in the main lineup, mm -hmm. the giant was incredibly important. Because yes. Shadows was so calm. Yes. Yes, Noah J. No, don't give me this face. Do not give me this face, Noah. It was important. This was this map carried the BO3 guys that did not want to play Shadows. It really did. It was up to the giant. And and it's good for veteran players too. It's wonderful. Community. And while it didn't and add a lot true. of new content, it brought with it tons of new lore and managed to reimagine the iconic yeah. duration yeah. in a totally Maybe. new and fresh way. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till at least two minutes really, in. Really, I think the giant at least is a two shining minutes. example. No, you have to go eight minutes for that ad sure revenue, brother. Is okay. I'm not saying my opinions yet. Remaster is literally updated game, updated graphics. The map itself doesn't change. Creation. Yes. Instead, remaster true. Value Very true. Like updated graphics, sir. They are generally underwhelming. Okay, Zombies I'll agree with that. So notorious for having bad remasters, however. The series. It's fair enough. See yeah. Chat. You think about MW2 remastered? It's like. It's like MW2 remastered should have hit like a bombshell, right? Should have hit like a complete bombshell. Eh, we played it for a day. We're like, eh, we're good. I mean, it's it's MW2. We've played it before. It looks kind of nicer. I can play it on my PS4, but that was about it. It's just like, eh, it is what it is. Maps before we got to the Giants. Resurrection DLC for Black Ops 1 saw a remastered set of World of War maps. These were true and much needed remasters. We got to enjoy the old favorites on the updated Black Ops 1 engine, yeah. free of horrible glitches of World of War. Very Quick true. Revive worked in solo. The Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. I, I, hold on. That's a point. Hold on. We shouldn't just gloss over that. The BO1 remakes, uh, I guess remasters of the World of War maps were phenomenal. They were phenomenal. They they, they're not like Chronicles. They're they're not like that at all. They literally uh, took World of War out of its own game and just plopped into BO1, and it kind of works because the games are so similar mechanically speaking. That 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 being said, you couldn't do the same thing with Modern Zombies. That's why BO3 Kino plays so different. Your jug, or uh, BO3 were not. No black hole gravity zombies. But really, that and an updated weapon roster was all the Black Ops 1 remaster brought. Which yeah. was perfect were necessary, for that. But True. But they didn't provide the same value that something like the giant brought in. <laughs> also true. Okay, okay, hold on. I want to let him I want to let him finish this Dude, he, no OJ's about to pop off, bro. Have OG to Here, here's the thing. I don't think Modern Warfare 2's remastered campaign is exactly comparable with the giant. Because, okay, m maybe if you look at... World at War Doris and BO1 Doris, yeah, maybe. The Giant is it's, it's different. No, no, it's, it's not it does not fall in that same realm. Giant 2, but this also shows us what a Doris remaster for Black Ops 3 could have been. Playable and fun, but generally pretty boring, uninspired, and something that's easily forgotten about. But again, the Giant is not this and Yes. It's safe to call it Noah, Doris. don't Noah, listen. And so a listen. remake is the other side of Pat's this popping point. off. A remake often has all the things we just talked about, but it takes more creative liberties to improve the map. A remake takes yes. the same original yes. recipe, but it looks at it and asks, what can we do to make this better? How can we make He's this so right. <laughs> fresh and interesting? Noah Jay, shut and up, Mr. Anime Hat. Have to see that the giant completely <laughs> delivered <after> the <laughs> Why are you kicking over there, bro? The third iteration so, so funny. Not it's the only third worked, one. Oh my god. Beyond anyone's wildest expectations. So what is it that makes the giant so good? Nothing. <laughs> Bruh. The giant is so boring. The giant is absolute trash, dude. 
I need spreadsheets and Easter eggs. The only reason it has any value whatsoever is because it's the only casual map you could play on Black Ops 3 on launch. That is I wouldn't even call it a casual. Well, I mean, it's eh, it's a casual. Uh, it's a bare to entry that's casual, but it's the it's it's the hardest map in Bo3. The only value. It's the hardest it map in Bo3. And now it doesn't even have that value because you could play better maps on the Zombies Chronicles. Maybe I'm too much of a Maybe. seasoned professional in Zombies to <laughs> have fun with it like I used to, but it High was rounds, so no boring. It was the third reiteration of the same map. There could have been a new casual map, but it was another <laughs> rema remake, remaster. Who cares? It was trash. <laughs> Well, the cornerstone feature I don't know. of the Giants is its lore know. and storyline. What made it feel so new? I don't think that's quite true. That's true. It that's true. The lore and story was really that good. We had already I, been, I'm talking but with a fresh set of eyes. That is to say, it's not gameplay was the solid. Same story taking place. It was solid. We know how to reset. Okay, this Rick is true. Rick's off and teleports to the this. moon. The Samantha's story was dog good. Fluffy oh, gets turned fluffy. into a hellhound, and Maxis gets sent. To the ranch. Scared me. Oh. See, the giant happens to take place at the same factory that we've ranch. been to, but it's a different time and setting with different characters. Well, s sort of. It starts with that exact same storyline. It's familiar with Ultimus Richtoff and sending away Max. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's really important as well. Chat, listen. Listen, this is why this is why the giant works in in a story in a storyline sense, whereas Chaos did not. I, th I think it's more complicated than this, but I think it also comes down to it's still in the universe that we care about. These The the, the character that we play in the giant is not the same that we play in it with BO1. It's not the same. And you could say, okay, that's totally different. It's, it's equivalent to Chaos. Not exactly. Chaos is... I think they made a mistake by not having Chaos, uh, at least in the same universe as Aether, because now we don't have a reason to care. And we, ha we, have to, we have to grow the reason to care as we go along. And they didn't really get there with it. That's really important that they did that. So I don't think that should be completely just glossed over either. Samantha. But then our new heroes who were revealed in origin show up. Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takeo travel here and confront it's so this integral. Ultimate... Giant is not almost. It's literally more integral to the story in the rest of the DLCs than the main map was Shadows of Evil. Knowing what is played yeah. out here, it is so cool yeah. to see That's our true. three heroes confront him. That is facts. Actions. They reference BO1's chain of events, which must not be set in motion. And as Rick Toffin asks, Do you know who I am? So cocky, so confident, and maniacal. Yeah, this is a good moment right here. mock him, which in a way is a mock to the very old formula of zombies. It's literally saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're and we're here to share. We hang out too much. And this is set 100% <laughs> crystal clear. As Primus Richtofen steps out of that oh my god, looks his ultimate self in the eyes with disgust and kills him. And I really think it's in this cutscene where Jason this was Blundell such a good and the right team completely and utterly dispel the old baggage of Black Ops 1 zombies. Yeah. They take that simple, confused, and shaky storyline and they just put it out of its misery. Primus Richtofen shooting nice cut, his Pat. former nice self cut to, to keep the monetization. <laughs> monetization, we love that. Story I appreciate that. Big, ups, <laughs> big ups to Roman for that one, dude. Shocking, we love Roman. It's exciting, and it does so oh my gosh. much for the storyline. After this, we see Richtofen do something to the body, which is really foreshadowing the blood vials as well as the entire quest that these four are about to undertake. Go. Well, it's this is where it gets the with that the grounds and finally reinvents the entire series. And I gotta say, Rick Toffin shooting his alter ego is one of the most memorable moments in the entire. You can never forget this story. intro. You really can't. So this is the most memorable intro as well. Instantly, that this is a map for the. Leader. It's so memorable. A, oh my gosh! If, <laughs> once again, a Bo3 zombies map just makes me realize how much I didn't like Bo4. The giant. Amen, Noah J. <laughs> To look at the amen noah so soundtrack you've got the map opener yes. which is subtle he's right and mysterious but almost i was kind of weird it really incites the imagination managing to sound like the beginning okay so here's where i'm going to disagree because exactly i agree 100 percent on the lower part is. it even takes the round change melody from mob of the dead which is so good i have no as problem as soon as we get into gameplay i'm gonna got blow up <laughs> look at this man <laughs> look at this man blow, dude. <laughs> Of something bro old i'm ready to go in too hold on remix for beauty of annihilation that i'm ready to go in on why it's it's really it's beautiful well with the map 
And lastly, there's the game over music. It's nothing groundbreaking, but is a very consistent sound that we will Gosh, hear. Gosh, that sound effect is ruined for me forever because of Black Ops 3 <laughs> custom zombies. That is the sound. Dude, every custom every map Black opens Ops like that. Custom zombies map that sucks makes when it loads up. Like, every <laughs> Dude. One. And I just I'm like, whenever I'm checking maps. <laughs> Chad, it's sad because it's true. A beautiful map. The graphics are so different to the original Doris that it doesn't even feel yeah, that's to true. compare them. Of course, the giant is tech. It's an, an better, it's an entirely new environment. It's not graphics visually Doris. It almost feels which is cool. like it has one percent comic book in it, and I don't even know if that makes sense. But that's the way that's I fair. always didn't look at this really dude. Feel like it's he's about to, dude, he's about to happen. stand up. But there still is enough Wait. new content that changes the overall <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> the most important change made here is the addition of double pack a punch. Double yes. pack adds a new dynamic. Yes, Pat. And I think this Preach. really allows us to appreciate the map in a giant light. It's not Three's about high Pe Preach, Pat. Frankly, it's about yes, it is, Noah J. Catwalk camping, catwalk camping only. No, and it's about well, both. One fixed this. That's the thing. That's the beauty. You can play either. Both strats are equally as valuable and are, are equally as encouraged. That's exactly right. That's why it's so beautiful as a map. You don't have to play it a certain way. Still a challenging high round for most players. Yes. The Giants yes, Pat. of Doris really changes the formula. You're not relying on the Wonder Wolf, despite it still being the most Yes, effective. dude. Okay, that's important. No one going to say something I can tell, but that's important. Look, look. The Wonder Waff is not a panic weapon in here. It, yes, it's good, and it can save you. It's not a panic weapon. If you panic weapon, you're going to die. If you put yourself in a corner and spend it, you will die. So what this seems to me is that it has more of an emphasis on, on your actual weapons, and it depends on the strat that you're playing now. So you have to, have to spend your time thinking, do I want like a bigger LMG for the, for the catwalk strat, or am I going to go with lighter guns for the plus the Wonder Waff for uh, like, a, like a training strat and spawn? That's the beauty of this map. He's exactly right been on the map and i like that it's worth your while to yes. gamble for it on the box but you'll be perfectly fine to simply use any double pack of yes weapon. it just feels like a nice casual map that you can train on so mad about the giant it literally took up the spot that could have been something for greatness and it just replaced it with something trash nah and again you could nah. have had all the storyline nah <laughs> Still in the map, but not it's a gem. A giant. And it's, it's an honest to god gem. Nostalgia regions, and I hate it. This is going to be extra controversial here. So you ready? Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. What do we got? Like Alpha Omega more because at least they can <laughs> reinvent. <laughs> I'm not even going to break that one down. And add content to Nuketown that make it a fun map. No, adding simply adding stuff to a map to a map's uh, craft does not make it good. If I made Mob of the Dead bigger, you get Blood of the Dead. Ma just simply making that bigger or adding things for the sake of adding it doesn't make that experience better. Nuketown is beautiful because it's a chaotic, constricted map. If you add the bunker to it and just add more and more and more and more and more, it loses the point of Nuketown in itself. BO4 engine? I you disagree with Noah J on this entirely. If Alpha Omega was on the BO3 engine, it would have been a pretty good map. I could also, have been on, on the map of the Wonder Wall. I can't. I think it's worth noting how different that weapon feels. The animation and effects of the Wonder Waff were the updated, Wonder did look and it cool. really does feel yeah. fresh, despite being yeah. an old design. The way that the Wonder Waff was updated, if, yeah, yeah, it, felt, it felt different but good. Of how you know? the entire map is updated, yeah, fresh that's a good point. and new, but still true to the roots of the original map. And the addition yeah, of Gobble like Gum also adds a new right. dynamic. Where most BO3 maps can be broken with Megas, the Giant is so simple that the use of OP Gums does little more than take away from the enjoyment yes. and the map another another big point there lads it's like like even even the most op megas like power vacuum doesn't even really break the map it, like the most used alternate ammo type you're going to be probably using dead wire drops do not spawn on maps that have from power vacuum that have the the waft so it seems to me that like you can run the most op gums and plus even if you're on perkaholic you get what five perks no widows no cherry no zombie shield it's it's straight up zombies straight up classic zombies 
is to say because the main objective is setting up, when you use Megas, you cheat yourself out of the map's experience. And so not mm -hmm. only does this mean that players aren't encouraged to use Megas on this map, but they're actually discouraged. Classic Gobblegums are all you need, and this leaves players with a great space to play Black Ops 3 in its most raw and true. It also seems like classics were made for this map too. Alchem, Lucky Crit, sh uh, Stock Option, I think. And in plain sight, they all feel like they were kind of this in shadows, I would say. But yeah, certainly, certainly with this in mind. Form. There's no electric cherry, widow's wine, or shield, or really any buildables for that matter. Amen, the Pat. Amen. Train on still. That you've got. Amen, Pat. Dude, th this this guy, this guy. <laughs> And so I, really I can't not. believe it. I don't know where he's getting that from. It's best. a great map to train on. It's great for practice. That's how you learn. You you have no safety nets. It's just it's just you and your sticks. You know, you and your movement. That's it. This is also one of the only maps where Treyarch offered players the chance to get free perks. The free perks is so. It's such a shame that it's not been a bigger part of Bo3 and Bo4. Yeah, that's true. These I, free I, drop spawner will me so much. Get That's really true. Does. I, I wish they would have implemented this elsewhere, but yeah, I agree. Furthermore, the map has a small Easter egg that can. I've never seen it before. What the hell? Deal another perk machine. By Wait, lads, you can get perks out of teleporting? End. But second and yeah. worst is the actual in-game reward. Beating this Easter egg provides the you with the annihilator special weapon. <laughs> oh, theoretically infinite in ammo, this is a horrible weapon All right. that serves no purpose whatsoever. It's literally useless. Yes. Yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Hold on. I'm going to see what they finish with this. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll so talk about the Annihilator. Hold think on. Think about it. Another the Annihilator has the strength the of a pretty average great. regular gun, right? It's not pack-a-punch. Mm. Maybe it's a little bit on the higher end, but it's certainly nothing special. Yet, in order to get it... To activate the fly trap, you need a pack a punched weapon. So your reward is something. That's true. Than I'll talk about that in a second. Hold on. To unlock. Okay, here's here's the thing about the annihilator. What's cool about it is like, I, okay, obviously you don't you don't really feel like you get, you don't feel like you get enough reward for what you did. You know, like that's fair. It just kind of feels like and eh, whatever. It doesn't feel rewarding enough for the effort you put in. That's true. However, the cool thing about the annihilator is that it's a specialist weapon that isn't like a carry machine like BO4 specialists, or even some BO3 ones, where it's like, you cannot rely on the Annihilator forever. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's cool, because it's, you know, you get it pretty early in the game, it's like, oh my god, I can I can do like, I don't know, 10 or 20 rounds with this thing, and it'll help out. It's not great, but it'll help out. But eventually it gets to a point where it's like, that as well does not carry you through the highest rounds. You don't do this every game just to so get carried through high rounds. It's like, it's almost kind of balanced away. It's a double-edged sword. It kind of sucks, but it, like, I, I understand, I understand the the point of it. They made it deeper. They didn't <sighs> expand upon the actual location like we would see in Black Ops 4 Zombies. I, I can't agree, man. I really Omega. can't. Instead, they chose yes, to keep it yes. Just adding something to the map like Tog or Alpha does not make it good. This is a crafted experience. It's crafted. You don't just throw slop onto it. It exactly as it was, and this makes it feel like a remaster. Yet with new storyline, characters, and an atmosphere so different they even it's changed true. the weather, they managed to create something truly inspired. And I think in a lot of ways, the giant <laughs> savior you're of killing me, Pat. Bruh. zombies. You're Shadow killing me. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying the giant is like a g g uh, groundbreaking or a masterpiece or whatever, but it's it's pretty damn good. And it it got a lot of things right. Complicated, and a lot of people hated it on launch. This then had the unintended effect of putting an un. We grew into. Uh, this is again. This is for the shadows thing, but we we grew into shadows of evil. The giant helped us get there, right? Black Ops Three was quite new to us at the time. We we didn't appreciate shadows because it was uh it was obviously quite different. It was something we weren't really ready for. Sorry, we didn't like it at the beginning. Most of us, but. We, we as Zombies players, aged into Shadows of Evil. We got more mature as Zombies players to appreciate this map more. The giant help was that was that diving board. God, the amount of pressure on... You could have done it with map. any map. And seeing how and successful why, Black why Ops the giant, Zombies was... I... Maybe, but maybe not. That shows what a good job the giant did. The giant it did. took its burden willingly and did its best to carry the weight where shadows <laughs> could not. Bro, he be so crying. Noah J be crying, bro. The giant a remaster. I think it's much deeper than that. The giant deserves its title of true remake and really is one of the best examples of how I think so. I think I would give it that. 
done. It's memorable and nostalgic, but completely fresh. And I believe it's one I, of the yeah. best Alpha piece Omega of was. content trailer. Oh my God! Sorry, don't don't say I'm about dude. I'm about to this Bud Light is about to come out of my stomach. You say that no that name again, dude. Alpha Omega is completely fresh. This map is completely. <laughs> Fresh. remake so it's not going to end up in the top upper echelon of s tier but it is true okay. that's another thing as well this is not like a top tier map this is not a this is not a shadows of evil this is not an origins but keep it in context oh Matt. don't it was an iconic pat if i swear on me <laughs> mom if you put this in single s tier or a tier i we are gonna fight. i give it single we gonna, i give it either single s tier or a tier right maybe now, a tier pat, pat look me in the eyes maybe s tier i'm telling you right now if you are about to put the giant in s tier that again, double s tier what are you gonna do you know for black ops 3 zombies and i really think the game i'm a cry i'm a cry fam Otis. and so with that said, all right let's see where's he gonna put it giants is an 8.3 a tier amen this man can calm down <laughs> Amen. Let's we'll take an A tier for that. I, I, I agree. I'd say pretty low in A tier. Yeah. I think it's kind of interesting to make a tier list entirely for remakes and remasters and to consider... I like that. Good good put it both in context. So in context. Context. Pat knows. Context of being a remake and remaster in this... Triple S tier. Double S tier. Double S tier. Okay, S. That's fine. The giant is that's fair. An S tier remake. Oh, yes, for sir. For all of you asking on size, the giant weighs in How many knocks? Doris. Oh. Anyway, with all that said, thank you. Damn, so he much he for damn watching. got us there. <laughs> she honestly, Pat hit the nail on the head there. Noah J is wrong about Doris. You, the, the giant is about being in being in narrative and about being zombies at the same time. It it removes all the extra safety nets. Widows, uh, cherry, all that stuff is gone. You know, specialist does not carry through high rounds. It's just zombies. It's a crafted experience. You don't slap extra stuff onto it to call it new. Thank you, Alpha Omega. This this retrospective, as far as I'm concerned, was spot on, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys thought.